headed out to feed the pigs and check on the cattle water. So uh, bear with me here on the uh, wild camera action this morning. I wanted to share with you something that God has been doing in my life and uh, maybe it'll mean something to you as well. So here a while back, Mandy and I were in Branson and um, I've been learning to play the banjo. As you can hear in the background, I decided to play you a little banjo tune there. You can see I'm still very much a beginner by all the mistakes I'm making. But um, we're in Branson and uh, I, I wake up a little early one morning. I'm laying in bed and I don't want to get up. We're in a little studio. So I don't want to get up and disturb Mandy and uh, wake her up. And so I, I put my headphones in and I proceed to, to pull up YouTube and watch a little, a little bluegrass and just something I do when I start learning something, I just kind of en, engulf myself with it. And so I'm, I pull it up, I start listening to it and I run across this family that's playing and they're playing an old hymn called uh, Sweet Beulah Land. And I start listening to this song and um, man, they are, I don't know what happens, but for some reason the tears just start welling up in my eyes and I'm, and it's just like touching me deeply. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? So you can probably hear the pigs down here. And um, let me put this on pause for a second and get these guys something to eat. So, um, back to the story. So I, I've got these tears welling up in my eyes. I share the song with Mandy later. Tears come to my eyes just sharing it with her. And, and this continues on for several days. So I'm like, man, I need to learn this song. I, I feel like, you know, I need to learn this song. God's put this on my heart. He's, uh, you know, somehow touching my heart with this song. So I start learning it on the banjo. And... And man, I, one day I get frustrated. It's you know, it's very difficult, and I get frustrated. And that evening, I I go to bed, and next morning I wake up, and I'm in my quiet time, reading the Bible, and and uh, sitting there thinking. And I feel like God's impressed on my heart to read the verse associated with Sweet Beulah Land, because uh, I'd been seeing this verse on the sheet music and stuff that I had downloaded, and so I was like, okay, well I pick up the Bible, I I turn over to Isaiah. I think it's Isaiah 42, uh, 4, I believe. Um, I'll try to put it in the comments for sure to so you can read it. But I turn over to Isaiah 42, 4, and I start reading it. And then I do a little studying on it, and I'm like, oh, wow. This is what God's trying to tell me. And if you read that verse, it depends on what uh, version that you're reading, what Bible version. If you read it like in the King James or the NIV or something like that, one of the older versions, they use an old Hebrew word called Beulah in this verse. And there's another Hebrew word in there. I forget what it is. And it also um, is related. And these words, if you look it up in like the English Standard Version, it actually translates those words in the verse. But they, uh, they basically mean that my delight is in her, and the word Beulah means to be married. And the context to this is that it's God bringing the Israelites back from exile, and he's referring to his relationship with the Israelites as, as a marriage. And he talks about how the bridegroom delights in the, the bride, and of course Israel is the bride, and he's the bridegroom. And I realize that what God's been trying to communicate to me through this, this song is that He delights in me. He delights in me because as we, as we give our lives to Christ and become Christians, we are grafted in to Israel. And so we are part of God's people once we commit our lives to Christ. And He delights in us as a bridegroom delights in a bride. And man, that just... I was like, wow, that is awesome. And so I hope you'll, uh, you'll hear that this morning. If you've given your life to Christ, that you will uh, realize how much God delights in you. There is no reason to be discouraged today. He had, God's delight is in you. And He, he, um, he looks at you like a, a bridegroom looks at a bride. If you haven't given your life to Christ, if, 
if you're still like the Israelites in exile, God wants to bring you back. He wants to restore that relationship with you. So uh, if you uh, have any questions about that, feel free to reach out with a personal message or something like that. I'm happy to answer any questions you have.